Hi readers, welcome back. Um, today we are going to, oh, by the way, thank you for all your great solutions to my problems yesterday. I really appreciated that. Today we're going to talk about problem and solution a bit more. Let me get this going for you. Okay, problem and solution. So just a reminder, a problem is something that characters want to change, fix, or figure out. And solution is a way to solve the problem. So today I'm going to read to you a book called Harry the Dirty Dog. And as I read to you, I would like you to think about um, what kind of problems are happening in the story and what kind of solutions um, the characters find to the problems. Keep in mind there can be more than one problem in a story. So um, in this story I kind of identified two different problems and then a solution for each one. So see if you can do the same. Okay. Harry the Dirty Dog by Jean Zion. Pictures by Margaret Bloy Graham. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything, except getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too, so without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them that he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever trips, tricks. He flip-flopped and he flop-flipped and he rolled over and he played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everybody shook their heads and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up. He walked slowly toward the gate and suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and he started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. He'd found the scrubbing brush and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed, with the family following close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he had ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick. It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became, once again, a white dog with black spots. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting, it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. All right, boys and girls, so that's a cute story that you probably read with your teachers at the beginning of kindergarten. Um, I want you to think about what kind of problems Harry found he was having in the story and what were the solutions to those problems. So if you'd like to take a minute to pause the video and think about it, you are more than welcome. I'm going to go over those problems and solutions with you. Okay, so like I said earlier, I identified two problems in the story. The problems that I identified were, one, Harry didn't like baths, right? 
And two, he got so dirty that his family didn't even recognize him. So let's talk about problem number one and what the solution was. Harry didn't like baths. Harry didn't like baths. What was the solution to that? Think about it. And then problem number two, he was so dirty and his family didn't recognize him. What was the solution to that problem? I'm gonna to click to my next slide and show you the solution. So if you'd like to pause once again, go ahead. Okay, so when Harry didn't like baths, his solution was, I'm gonna run away and bury the bath brush. And then he got so dirty that his family didn't recognize him after playing all through the city, right? So his solution to that was to unbury the brush so that his family could give him a bath and recognize him. All right, boys and girls, today your task is to read a story at home and identify the problem and solution. And maybe like Harry and the Dirty Dog, you'll find that there's more than one problem and more than one solution. You can record your problem and solution on Seesaw for your teachers. Uh, moms and dads, just so you know, you're probably gonna have to pick a book that has a bit of a plot versus um, one of the readers that was sent home um, in the book baggies. Those probably don't have much of a plot and, so, um, sorry, problem and solution. All right, boys and girls, have fun. Can't wait to see your answers, and I will see you tomorrow.